I, I want to talk. I know that that um, that the IEBW was a, a, a party to the, the the Diablo Canyon closure agreement, but obviously that was some period of time ago. Just interested in getting IBEW's sort of current perspective on on that particular part of it. So the, what happens? What takes place with any uh, generating station is is that once the management team has made a decision that they're going to close it. Then, then it's incumbent upon our local unions to negotiate how is that going to impact the worker? Uh, how long is it going to stay open? How can we retain those people until it actually comes offline? And how do we address the community itself? As I talked about earlier, that tax base and the impact on the community, the impact on the workers, the, uh, the impact on the company itself when you talk about Pacific Gas and Electric. So we were very fortunate. Uh, Pacific Gas and Electric worked well with Local 1245 on drafting a fair, uh, fair uh, settlement on how do we give extra value to the workers so they'll stay on the job through this period of time. As EJ was talking about earlier, through that 2024, 2025 period of time is how can we keep them there? Uh, so we, as the, as the IBEW, would we like to see that plant stay up and running and in place? And that is a definitely, yes, we would. Uh, that Those are good blue collar union jobs, uh, but we still have to protect our members if the, if the operator and the state may, reaches that decision to close it. What is the best? What is the best value for our members? And that goes on a state by state basis.